Hey guys, this is NST, Never Stop Traveling, and today we're gonna to go over how to travel to any country in the world and get paid to do it. How, how do you go to new countries around the world and how do you make money? Most people think about traveling to a new country and be like, oh, it's gonna cost me $1,000 to get there and back. I'm there for a week, it's gonna cost me 500 or, or $5,000 for that week. And a lot of people don't know that you can travel to new countries around the world and you can get paid to do it. I mean, right now, I mean, my home country is the United States of America. I'm thousands of miles away from home and a different country and I'm getting paid to do it. And there's a lot of opportunities to do this. And people don't know that like, oh, I, I need this special degree or I need this special skill. Or, I mean, like, you can work in a bar in Australia. You can work in a bar in a lot of countries around the world. It paid pretty good money to do it. I mean, I, I don't have a degree. I went to college for a little bit, dropped out, and you know I've, I have experiences doing other things. I've had other jobs, but like anything that you can do in the United States, you can actually do in another country. It's crazy, like any job. One of the easiest things you can do is to work in a hostel. There is the volunteer aspect of it where you can just live in a hostel, they'll give you food and housing, and you know, you might work 20 hours a week, but there's management positions and a lot, of, a lot of different permanent positions where you might be actually doing full-time job and you get housing and you get food and they might give you, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month. That's great, especially if you stay in a place for six months. Be like, oh, I'm gonna go to France, oh, I'm gonna go to Germany, oh, I'm gonna go to Australia. You do that for six months, save $2,000 a month, I mean, that's $12,000, and if you travel right, that could last you three months, six months, 12 months, maybe even longer, depending on what countries you go to and what you wanna do. Now, I don't have a degree, but if you do have a degree, you're in luck because it does open a lot more doors. There's a lot of opportunities for, say, engineers or doctors or teachers or all kinds of other jobs that you can do abroad. You can actually teach English um, without a degree in a lot of countries and or just online. I mean, I, I have a couple of friends that I, I teach um, English online to with and it's like, you know, I can do that from my laptop or from my phone or there's a bunch of different sites where you can set up profiles and teach people and get paid anywhere from you know, to $10 to 20 or $30 an hour. And people don't think about it like, you can still work in the United States or you can work your same job and just work in a different country around the world. I mean, like, there's a lot of big companies that have branches. Like, say you work in the United States and your company has branches in France or, or Germany or China or South Africa, you know, somewhere around the world, you can see if you're, you can apply for a program or whatever it is, and you might be able to get a job or do your same job for that same company in a foreign country. Um, my one friend actually has some friends who he does, they do what he does and he's a programmer and his friend does the same thing. I believe he does the same thing. Um, he's either a programmer or a messenger and he does that in, I want to say Germany, somewhere in Europe. But the guy's from the United States and he got this job abroad so it's like, you know, why not? And going from there, you can also, any, any job where you're working from a computer or working from your desk, if your company trusts you and if you worked for that company for long enough, Sometimes those companies will even let you work from your laptop remotely. If you can work remotely, like if you can work from home, you can technically work from anywhere in the world. Say your salary is 2,000, 1,000 or 5,000 dollars a month in Chicago, maybe even 10, you know who knows. You can get an apartment in Vietnam for 300 dollars, 500 dollars a month. You might be able to get two rooms for $500 and a pool and somebody comes in and cleans your apartment, does your laundry, maybe makes you food. It's like for a couple hundred dollars, you can do all that. And in say Chicago, a lot of people might spend just a, you know, a couple hundred dollars on food alone. And you can go to Vietnam and do that. Like, you know, why not? If you're already working from your laptop, why don't you travel the world? I actually met a girl who was a programmer and I met her in Tel Aviv one night when I was staying in, in Tel Aviv and she was super cool, really smart girl and she was actually doing two contracts from her laptop for two programming companies. Each contract was $80,000 and she could write in a handful of computer languages and she was able to do all that work from her laptop as she traveled and saw the world 
making over six figure salary, which is crazy because you could save, even if she spent six sixty thousand dollars a year, if she's making eighty thousand dollars, she could still save, you know, a hundred thousand dollars. So a hundred thousand dollars saved every year over ten years, just traveling the world, spending sixty thousand a year. You know, you could you could still save a million dollars if you invest it. You know, you could save maybe like one million dollars could turn into ten million. I mean, that's that's another rant I could go on on another video. The doors are endless for different things you can do from your laptop working while you travel. You can, I mean, we've gone over teaching, we've gone over programming. You can do, you can be an influencer, you can be a writer, you can be a blogger, you can do e-commerce, you can do drop shipping, which is e-commerce. You could do, you know, affiliated marketing, you could do translating, you could just edit, you know, people's resumes or there's this website called Upwork and there's a lot of different site or there's a lot of different jobs that you can do or little jobs that's maybe you know hour job or a 10 week or a, you know a year long job different contracts things that you can do working on your laptop if you have a basic skill that you can do on your laptop such as editing revising um, programming teaching any skill that you can do from a camera or from your laptop, you can generally outsource that and be a freelancer online and make money while you're traveling from your laptop. Now the possibilities for, for traveling and working are endless, but if you have that goal of living in another country and working or traveling and still making money, you will achieve it. It might not take, you know, it might take longer than a week, it might take longer than a month, it might take even a couple of years. But if that's your goal, you will achieve it. If you have that goal, say, I'm going to get my TEFL certification. It might take you two weeks or a month or so, but if your goal is to get that TEFL certification and be able to teach people English online and you can have a set schedule, I mean, you can live anywhere in the world and teach English. If you can just make $1,000 a month, $1,000 a month teaching English online, which isn't that much. If you're doing $10 an hour, that's, I don't know, 100 hours, that's crazy. Only 20 something hours a week, um, making only $10 an hour, you can go live in Bali, Indonesia, India, a lot of Southeast Asia, Eastern Europe, South America, a lot of different countries, and you could live off that $1,000 a month. You could probably still save 500. Say you get rent and you share it with somebody and you're spending $250 a month for rent, and you spend $250 on food and activities and whatever, you could still save $500 a month. If you stay in a place for a year, say you wanna learn Spanish and you really like Colombia or Argentina, you can learn that language and you're there for a year, you save $6,000 and then you can travel to your next destination and you have that little cushion, you'd be like, okay, I have a decent amount of funds so I can get set up in you know, Romania or Germany or whatever the next destination is that you wanna, you wanna work and travel to. I personally have had this goal to live in other countries since I was very young. I think I was 14 or 15 I said, hey, I wanna live in other countries around the world and I didn't even go to college before I was able to move to another country. I was only 18 years old. I was able to get work in a foreign country. I was working for the US, but I was able to live in another country for two years. I did have to come back to the States. I did get stuck in the United States for a few years, but the past almost a year, I've been living in a foreign country again, and I plan to live in a foreign country for the next, you know, maybe 10, 15 years, depending I might do if I'm remote 100%, I'll probably spend about 50% of my time or 30, probably closer to 30% of my time in Kano, so in the United States, and the rest of my time abroad. But, you know, it's like we have this opportunity to travel. We can work and travel. We can still save money and travel and see the world and, you know, just experience new ideas, learn new languages. And it's just like, I think it's the, it's the best way to live if you want to grow and challenge yourself and become you know all that you want to be all right guys it's nst never stop traveling it's day we did go over how to travel and get paid to do it hope you guys like this video if you did please like comment and subscribe and if you do subscribe hit that bell icon and every time that i upload a video which is mondays wednesdays and fridays at i believe 5 30 eastern or chicago time in the united states um, you'll get a little bell and it'll ring and it'll tell you, hey, there's another travel hack video or one of my travel vlog videos. 
Um, so yeah, please, please subscribe and share and hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions or other videos that you want me to make videos on, I just finished this 10, 10 series of travel hacks. And so I think I'm going to do a few more and then hopefully you guys will be able to see more of Israel. So stay tuned guys and peace out. i